Many people have been asking me about move camera scripts, which is a script where the camera moves, as the name implies. So let's get started on making one. First, I'm going to open up a clean map so I can work. I'm going to make two different scripts, and I want three tiles on each, so I'm going to make six new boxes. And I will line them up all right here. Or in fact, I'll line up a couple right here. The idea I have planned is basically the player will step here and it will tell them that they're entering a new route. Then they'll continue on over to here and once they reach that point the camera will pan all the way across the map and say route, what is this, route 3? So it'll say route 3 and then it'll move back and it'll be free to go. Very simple, kind of like um, one of the 3D ones, like Pokemon Coliseum. When they first enter a map, it shows them a kind of little video-ish thing. But anyways, let's get started on the scripts. The first one. Uh, we start off with Jingle, of course, because that's what we do when we write a box script. And it'll be something really simple, just like a message, and that'll be it. I'll name the message T1, but it doesn't matter, of course. And it'll just say, you are entering a new route. Slash HBO. That'll make the ellipsis, the dot, dot, dot. Box set 6, and we'll set var OX6001, OX0001. Release end. That's our first script, not so bad. Now for the second one. Org2 jingle and this one will be a little more complicated. We'll put special OX113. Now that tells the game that we're going to be using a move camera's movement right now. So to do that, apply movement OX7 there we go. 7F screen. Screen. Screen right. That's what I want. And screen right. One semicolon binary. OX. Wow, lots of type mismatches. 13. Now, I'll have it move. Uh, 50 times, I guess. That that should be enough, I guess. Maybe not, but don't really care. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And do I dare go for 10? I don't think so. Whenever you go past 9, it gets kind of buggy, and it's not really a good idea to go past 9. So... I'll just leave it at 9, and then we'll use the same thing again. We'll break up our movement into two different values. Or, actually, since we're moving in a solid straight path, we could just do the exact same value multiple times. Screen right. Okay. Pause, move, zero. All right, I'll copy and paste that just a couple times. It's move 9, 18, okay, eh, that should do it, that's 5, that doesn't quite add up to 50, but it's pretty close, I don't think I even needed it to move 50 at all anyways. So then I'll have a message saying uh, route, and it'll say route 1 equals route 3, box set. Six, and now we've got to have a backwards motion going right here so we'll do the exact same thing right here paste and from here I'm going to do a replace except this will be screen left
and replace OX113 with OX12. Find, replace, 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 replace. Good. And now we'll copy and paste this the exact amount of times that we just did. Paste. Got to delete this. And how many do I have here? Two, four, five. Good enough. Okay. So two, three, four, five. All right, cool. So now we'll put special OX114 to tell the game that we're no longer moving with the camera anymore. So lock it back into place or reunite it with the player, whatever. Just make sure that you return it to its original spot because you might have problems later on. So now we'll finish it off just by putting set var OX6001. OX0002. Release. End. There we go. We'll save it and I'll name it camera.rbc. Or I'll name it camera1. Okay, so now that I have all my offsets and values in the correct compiled format and inserted into the game, I'm going to copy and paste my scripts into the boxes. Into. Oh. Yes, of course. You cannot put OX <laughs> in this. There we go. Var number is 6,000. Uh, 1. 6,001. <laughs> okay. Next. 6,001. Unknown 3. And the script offset. Next one. Unknown 3. No. Oh, wrong button, of course. I'm hitting tab rather than backspace. Okay, 6001. Just delete that. Okay, so I'm done with that one. And I move on to this one. Let me get my value. The var number again is 6001, but this time the value is also 1. Okay. Okay, so I got them all inserted, paused it for just a minute, that way I wouldn't bore you to death. Alright, so now let's see if it works. You are entering a new route. Very good. Excellent. Now, as we can see, we are getting a glimpse of the map. Route 3. Ah. So, as you can see, I was a little lazy and we didn't go all the way across the map, but it doesn't matter because the point is that you understand how to do this. And very good. So now we're returned. And there we go. One quick note I want to show you is since this is based on VARs, if we were to use walkthrough walls and skip right to the movement, it wouldn't happen. Now that's because this is set to happen only on VAR 1, which occurs right now. Now VAR 1 has been set, and now this happens. So. Thanks for watching.